What's good, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite tomboyish mom, Tay. We're going to do something a little bit different. So, you know you girls got skills. But before we get into all of that, why don't you guys go ahead and smash that like button. And if you want to be a part of the family to stay spiritually aware and connected, smash that subscribe button. Also, hit the bell button. That way, anytime I upload a video, you'll be the first one to be notified. So, jumping right into it. I am um, flat ironing my daughter's hair. One of my daughter's hair. So I actually went to cosmetology school twice. Just a quick story time. I went to cosmetology school twice. The first time I wasn't able to complete it because I needed some information. I was still a minor and I needed some information from my father, which he didn't want to provide. Now I was extremely young and naive. I didn't have a whole lot of direction um, at that time. So I was unable to get the documents and therefore couldn't continue the program. The second time I went into cosmetology school, I was actually... Um, I had just been initiated as a priestess in um, my spiritual community and so I was very 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 excited however my mother had just been recently diagnosed with breast cancer and because of that she would always end up calling me when she was in severe pain and I would end up having to come home to take care of her so with me missing so many days out of school and I was paying for that education I said you know what I might as well just leave the program um, before I stack up too big of a bill and then try to complete it at a later time which of course um, I basically found out spiritually by an elder in my community that that's not really my calling but we'll get into that a whole another video at another time so anyways since hair and well basically just hair let me tell you something when it comes to hair I didn't have to go to cosmetology to learn how to do it now I know you guys are looking at me going but you have locks in your hair that's right I have been a fan of natural hair ever since I was a child I don't like pressing curls for myself personally I don't think there's anything wrong with them but I just love natural hair I, whenever I was given the option as a child to get my hair done, I always wanted to get braids. Always, always, always. I was like Moesha. I wanted to have braids. Just braids. And so eventually, I taught myself how to braid. So I started braiding at the age of 14 years old. And then when I went to cosmetology school, I mean, it just clicked. So, um, yeah, I'm going to actually upload some videos and probably post them somewhere around the screen so that you guys can get an idea of the styles that I used to do but your girl was good I mean I was a savage when it came to them pressing curls and I'm not talking about this you know the stuff that they do every day let me tell you what type of pressing curl person I was I was the I'm gonna give you some figure six curls I'm gonna hook you up and then comb it out and flip it and just make it look all slayed and just laid out that's the type of person that I was Weaving is not my thing. It never was. I never wanted to learn and take any classes on how to do that. Um, so I don't know anything about weaving, but press and curl, flat iron. Um, I mean, I won awards and all that. So I'm just doing literally just a flat iron on my daughter's hair. And I only do this particular uh, thing on her style, on her hair, because the type of hair that she has, you know, with her being mixed, she has a mixed texture. So in order for me to split, you know, cut her um, split ends, I need for her hair to be straight. Now because of the texture of her hair, she doesn't really necessarily need a press, but she does need a flat iron. So I'm going to flip the camera around because I already started. I did a little bit less than half of her head. So I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can see what I've done so far. And then we're going to jump right into the video and I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm going to go through flat ironing one side of her head just so you guys can get an idea of what I'm doing. For those of you who have children that have this texture hair um, and you're not a stylist and you just want to do something at home, you know what I mean, to give your kids a little bit of extra flair <laughs> or whatever the case may be, this video is for you. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys can kind of see um, a little bit of what I'm doing here so you can see the difference in the texture from the part that I haven't done Excuse the background you guys. I'm in my bedroom. This ain't a hairstylist uh, salon This is my house where real people live so <laughs> never mind the background madness But anyways as you can see you see she's got a lot of hair right so as you can imagine What I have to deal with and I've got five girls so just think um, But anyways, yeah, this is her hair just blow-dried. I haven't done anything to the front of that and this is what I've already started doing right here. As you guys can see, her hair goes all the way down there. And it's time to cut them split ends. 
So yeah, this is where we are right now. I'm gonna continue to flat iron the back of her head and I'm just going to record so that, like I said, for those of you who are not, um, I don't wanna say cosmetically, I don't think that's the right word, but for those of you who had no formal training or you know, just for sure curiosity, you just wanna see how to do this on a child's head, this is, um, I guess this video is for you. All right. Shakura Leon Bisbee. Shakura. So as you can see, I've done with all of the back and I still have just this front side corner to do, but I wanted to have her just kind of spin around so you can see how it's looking. So Kiki, turn around slow for me, just so we can get a look. So you guys can see the difference in the texture. This is the side that hasn't been done. And then this is the side that has been done. Keep turning. completely different right all right so we're gonna finish up the other side you guys sorry about that last little clip but my son because I have my camera well my phone set up on this like little dinner table next to me and uh, my son wants attention so he thought let me just snatch and pull this table down so that kind of messed up the footage the footage the footage but I wanted to get you guys to see the last little bit so you can see the definite difference in the texture of how it looked before I passed the flat iron over it and how silky and smooth it is af after. Now I want you guys to know I used absolutely no product in her hair. I gave her a, a shampoo and a good conditioner. I used a conditioner and let it sit on her hair and then I rinsed that out and then I did a um what do you call that? A leave-in conditioner. And then I did a coconut water rinse with just some coconut water that I bought from the grocery store. Now that is not actually for hair care, it's more or less for spiritual reasons. I'll explain that in another video. But other than that, I have not put any product, anything for sheen or shine in her hair. So, 
so as you can see we're all done i'm just gonna make a couple of other little touch-ups here and there and then we're gonna show you guys the final product in just a second all right you guys so i have actually finished we had to move to the restroom so don't mind the toilet in the background but just to give you guys a better look in the light to see the finished product of her hair it's nice and straight and no weave this is all her hair all her hair turn around to the front Kiki yeah definitely big difference you can see the roots same thing on the other side Turn around. Same thing on this side, you guys. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, you guys. So, never mind the curtain moving in the background. That's my son playing. But yeah, so this is where we're going to end the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I definitely see more videos like this in the future. As like I said, I have five beautiful girls and the other ones are just dying for me to do their hair like this. But I just wanted to let you guys see. It's very simple. Blow drying hair for beginners on your daughter's hair. Especially if they have this texture. You know what I mean? The mixed texture hair. It's real easy. You don't need a press. All you need is a real good blow dry. And very. you don't even need product. Now this is the only thing that I have to deal with. But that's <laughs> something for another video. So I just wanted to let you guys see that. Make sure you smash the like button. Definitely subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Smile.